Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our ninth live stream presentation from Rogue Gallery in beautiful Talakapaki. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch these segments. You've made the live stream come to life by your participation, so we ask that you do the same thing as I've had every weekend. We've got our right-hand man, Randy, here to convey any questions you may have, comments, so don't be shy. Last weekend, I don't even know where to start. We saw flames spewing from torches. We saw bronzes heated up to 400 degrees, and we saw steaming nitric-based chemicals coming off of a bronze, not to mention the sculptures that Eric Peterson has done, truly multi-talented. Welcome back. I can't wait to see what we're going to see today. All right. Thanks, Ken. I guess, should we start with this? <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so here's how I sculpt. Let me take this clay, and we'll just... No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what are you doing now? Oh, man, you had me going. I was, I was going to make a joke about it's time to patina these, uh, the ladybugs on here, but this, yeah. this torch might be a little Yeah, so what did, we, what did we start with last week? So last week we had, here I have another one of my pair. <clears throat> so this, this baby started like this last week. So we heated it up with that big torch yeah. I just showed, and I actually... Um, Started applying the chemicals. Ferric nitrate was the main, mm -hmm. the main chemical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I showed you how we make that at my shop by pouring yeah. nitric acid on nails. There was a minor explosion. I think you said something. <laughs> that's, that's no big deal, right? That's part of it sometimes. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So um, what I did was I took that piece that I started, and you can, if you missed it, watch last week's. But I took it back to my studio and worked on it some more. And this is that same piece right here. And I actually used what I did in my demonstration. So this yeah. is the same pair you started last yep. week live yeah. on the air. It's actually the first time that I've done a demonstration and actually used what I did in the demonstration. Instead of just an example. Instead of just as an example, yeah, yeah or restarting it, Perfect. I used it. So um, I think the first thing we're gonna do is I, I kind of uh, videoed myself doing what I did on this, at least part of it, so that everyone can see what they missed. So I think we have a segment coming up of that. It'll show what you did during the week. All right, yeah, I'll talk about it a little once he... Yeah, uh, yeah, good. There you all go. All right, so I started off, um, you can see me heating the pair back up, and the, the chemicals on there are what I did in the, in the demonstration. So I built it up really strong. You can see it's smoking, and there's my shop. There's Ken's Buffalo way in the background, if you look. <laughs> you can see that back there. Um, burnish the stem out. There we go, getting that ready. Here's my special technique. Now, what the is water. that? Oh, that's water. No, that's a that's a proprietary secret, Ken. <laughs> All right. I can't I can't tell you everything. Okay. But uh, you know, it's a it's a lot of back and forth like this, heating it, little squirt bottling. Yeah. Um, here we go. Yeah, airbrush. It's the ferric nitrate I'm airbrushing on there. Uh, rinse it off with water to neutralize the chemical. And then <clears throat> there's getting the ladybugs shined up and ready for today. Lacquering the bottom that protects the piece and there we go. <laughs> Perfect, ladybugs next it says. Yep. All right, so yeah, so now we've got that, uh, that piece right here. And I was going to show a little bit about how I do the ladybugs. Good, should excellent. We, should we go into that, so, or yeah, do you want to keep everybody waiting? No, let's let's <laughs> let's just do it now. All I'm right. Wait, waiting. Um, okay. So some things on the patina you saw with the torch and chemicals, but sometimes when something's really small, mm -hmm. you got to use a little uh, other methods. Yeah. You don't necessarily. So you use a smaller torch, I would assume. Yeah, a smaller torch. Where did I put it? Gentlemen, we have Chad oh, Wagner weighing in with uh, stating a, uh, quite a pair of pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you, Chad. Well, I, I'll tell you, if there were two words to describe last week, was from Mike. Do you remember what he said? Um, no, tell me. Kick ass. Oh. <laughs> remember? So, I mean, that, that describes yeah. Eric Peterson, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, just so you know. All right, so I brought this little torch to heat these guys up just a little bit. Okay. And here again, you're just opening up the pores to yeah. accept the I always like to have a little heat, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to use some pigment and dyes on, this, on these ladybugs since it's so small. And I want it to be real bright. Okay. So I, I make these brighter than 
than the pure natural chemicals that we make can do. The ferric nitrate can only get so pure of a, yeah. of a red. So I got this mixed up. So I'm gonna put this, you know what's funny is I'm wearing my contacts. Yeah. See, normally when I'm wearing my glasses, I have to lift my glasses up to see up it, close I hope now. you can see what you're doing. Yeah, now I'm like. Looks like you're doing I'm, great. I'm gonna have to borrow your, you have your little glasses, more, Ken? No, not here. I'm gonna have to borrow, it. actually I, somebody, Monica, grab me some glasses because I can't see. Bruce and Pat Grenner. Oh, there you are again. Hi, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank are you, you both. Are you able to get that? Everybody in Sedona. We miss you guys. We can't wait to see you. Okay, so, so you're gonna you're gonna push these colors a little bit brighter than normal to accommodate the waxing or the Well no, I just want I the want top. these little ladybugs to be real bright. I mean ladybugs are bright yeah. and colorful, so I'm kind of pushing it. But you can see that this is what I'm putting on there is transparent. Yeah. So the bronze is going to show through. through. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Now it's going to be hard for me to actually finish these in these conditions because I do multiple layers yeah. with the lacquering yeah. and let it sit. Okay. And, um, but we can, we and, can see. see and how do you get spots on there? Do they have spots Well, I'm going to paint those on there too. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So good. I got, I've got some black here and then, and there's a little bit of white. But normally what I would do is I would put that on. Let's see here. here I'm, I'm trying to lift Here's up. Here's the glasses that came I'm via trying to air, lift up. airmail. Oh, oh, these they were are, thrown to me. Look at that. How did Monica know just my style? <laughs> this is exactly. They're if, patinas. If I could choose glasses, I would have chose these. There you go. This there is how trends begin, right here before your eyes. All right. There you go. Oh, man. I, see, I now you have can, to, I can That's actually, a ladybug, by the way. Yeah, I can actually see. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get, I'm going to cut. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can. I'm gonna lacquer this and then we could talk about something else while it's drying. Perfect. We'll talk about mm -hmm. your sculpture you yeah, introduced yeah. last week. Wait, let me, wait, whoa, whoa, that made me dizzy. <laughs> you have uh, your lacquer. That's my, yeah, let me grab, let me see here. Wait, do I have lacquer? There's some right here, Eric, right oh, behind there me. Is? Oh, there it is, okay, yeah. yeah. All right, so. We'll so the lacquer seals it so you can. So I can do, do another lacquer. layer without messing up this layer. Okay. But right. this will actually show, watch how it gets shiny and the bronze coming through. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's yeah, beautiful. I mean, that, okay. that really defines what this whole concept is, is you're letting the, the warmth and the reflective quality of the bronze reflect through your patina. Yeah. And what we saw in the video was you're layering with transparent layers and some, a little bit of opacity mm -hmm. to give that contrast. And to go from this... Well, from that yeah. to this, to me, is mm. amazing. Yeah. Ken and Eric, cool. we got Bruce and Pat coming back in. Very excited to uh, see the painting they commissioned from Jen. Oh, yes, wonderful. And there's going to be another presentation from Jen coming. Yes, yes, very good. And then Karen uh, Slavy, Slavy? Nice yeah. To that. Uh, yeah. Loves the ladybugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, yeah, so you can see how shiny that, let me see how this turned out here. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, we'll yeah. let that. So oh, actually, I could dry. do. You know what? Though I could put the black on the. Um, see the head. The head goes black. Okay. So let's uh, let's see here. Get another. Get this get this going here. You know, this is this isn't that easy, Ken, to bring the whole setup. I would uh, think not to Sedona. Eric, well, this... Ron, and Chris sit away. Uh, love the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the glasses. Hey, are, they, are those for sale? Like your pants? <laughs> sure. Okay. I'm sure right. Monica wouldn't mind. Well, if let I the sold bidding her. begin, right? We had Listen, thirty-five dollars for the pants last week. Thirty-five on the pants. So let's start at thirty-five for the glasses. Okay. Yeah. And then, by the way, what you need to up that bidding, Randy, on the <laughs> on the pants. <laughs> and it'll go to what? Uh. How about we'll donate it to COVID-19 charities? There you go. Um, there you go. Yeah. I mean, I have, I've told you I've saved every pair of work pants since I started my business 15 years ago because I heard how they like ripped old jeans in Japan. And so I thought, well, someday. Well, you could retire someday. So, yeah, I'll retire off my Not jeans Not that we someday. want you to. So in my laundry room, I have a shelf, and up there is about 30 pairs of ripped jeans. The only problem is I need somebody who sews because... I don't quit wearing the pants basically until the crotch rips out. So they all need some work before they're, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> before we'll they're, before they're usable. <laughs> okay. Hey Eric, Bruce is wondering if you'd ever consider doing a green patina on his bronze pair. Oh yeah, I can do oh, that's the a pair. Great the pair could definitely be green. And I've done it before. 
Oh, I could make a yellow pair, a green pair, anything anybody wanted. Oh, that yeah. would be very cool. And we got a... Joel Peterson. Morning, guys. Joel, hey, Dad. good morning. Hey, Dad's coming in. <laughs> Hey, so, that's a great question, though. I mean, you could do patina on I mean, any color variation of a pair. I mean, if somebody wanted a purple pair, I could do it. Ah, that would be that would be beautiful, actually. Yeah. A yeah. purple pair or a green pair? Any any color. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it can would be fantastic. Now, here's the thing: I can only do so many more colors because there's only four pairs left before it's sold that's out. That's true. Yeah. And so this one got, is we available. Got prices yeah. going up. Ron's coming in at forty-five dollars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Karen says she'll do fifty on the pants. Nice. Wow, there you go. All right, fifty. I'm going to hold her to that. Okay. Well, let's I think it's a done deal. Let's remember that. All right. Fifty. That's more than I paid for them originally, so that's that's a profit for me. Stephanie well, Revena. It's Stephanie. Fun to see the process live. Kim Good. Corey. Kim. Tuesday. You've been outbid. <laughs> How about Ken, that? No Too freaking great. way. The parents were promised to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, I told you the prices are raising. You just yeah, got to accept right. that. That's right. <laughs> okay, here comes the glass. Let me, uh, let me put some black on this little... Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can use this. This brush is not, uh, not conducive. Do you yeah, look at, <laughs> this, well, look at this brush I'm trying to use. I need something cleaner. Here we go. Here. I got a brand... Oh, is that one clean? That'll work. Okay, let's... Uh, Get some black on there. All right, so can you see his little head? Oh, you're right, Monica. This is the she. Sorry. Yeah. When it comes to ladybugs, the females are bigger. Okay. Kathleen um, Kitts says, good morning, guys. You oh, two Kathleen. are a hoot. Hey, sis. <laughs> you two are a hoot. <laughs> Glad to see you. <laughs> a hoot. A hoot. That, hey. That works out pretty hey, good, Ken. Kathleen, Change the subject. Thank you. All right, so let me, let me paint a picture here, being an artist, of Eric's life. So, multi-talented, without exception, musician, sculptor, patina artist, fly fisherman, <laughs> maybe you're an astronaut, away. I don't even an know. Astronaut. Well, no. your work is I'm out too. of this world. So anyway, <laughs> so here we are. If you had an audience of 40 people, maybe, maybe more, and all of them represented artists, we're all tugging at Eric's shirt saying, please do this, please do that. I need this for the show. And he's just absolutely bombarded with work. I mean, literally, I'm not ex exaggerating. When you go into your studio, there are mountains of bronzes waiting for you and your artisans to assemble, chase, and patina. Yeah. And so when he deprives himself of even more sleep <laughs> and gives in to our asking him for more sculpture, he does so. And last Saturday, you saw the first piece in how many years? <laughs> at least five. At least oh, five no. years. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this. So <laughs> you, had, you worked on it more this week. Yep. Yeah, so I, gave him, I gave him another wing. Another wing. I started, so I, yeah, I started this five years ago at your uh, yeah. artist sculpture. Fiesta del Talacapaki. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you just said. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I started it and then I got, like you said, I got pulled away with having, um, I think I had about 20 patinas due that week. Yeah. So I was kind of. Yeah, you literally work overnight in a lot of cases. I've, yeah, I've, these, spent, I've spent many, a few many times. nights working overnight. So, so what you saw was the first sculpture in, how many, in four years, four five, or five, five six four years, or five yeah. years. You worked on it this week. And can you show us a little bit about your ideas for patina on what you have in mind? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this, this, um, this little owl, kind of cute little guy, um, it's kind of going to be in the same style as the quail, my sold out piece. Yeah, this is sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you can see the smooth style and you can put some fancy patinas, stone-like patinas. So, yeah, I guess I, I'll grab my other pair. And I'll show you some examples of what could be done on something like that. So now we get to see the big torch. Okay, yeah. Stephanie commented in just a bit ago, she wants a green one. Oh, oh right. nice. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> wow, Stephanie, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's heat this baby okay, up a little bit. Okay, here's the fire.
just like last time, you can see the, the flames start to... Actually change the color from the heat. Yep. Now, is that somewhat residue of an oxidation from last week's demonstration too we're seeing? <laughs> yeah, you can see my, that, you can oh, see that's the, the, dark the heat is bringing out the, my fingerprints from handling this oh, thing. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, see normally, like if I was really gonna, well, I, I still am gonna clean this off. You wanna hand me that? Sure. Um, oh, I knocked off my, here, Ken, you better fix my oh, pretty. it's a show business. My pretty Just, chair. Yeah, there you go. Don't let people see that I'm sitting on is a that, bucket. Is that for sale? <laughs> Yeah, the, the bucket's for sale too. All the charity. Okay. <laughs> so here, this is where this comes in, okay. where you get rid of all the impurities. So normally when I'm about to start a patina, I wouldn't be handling it and getting right. greasy fingers. In fact, I'll, I'll yell at people sometimes I mean, in the shop. You, you yeah. yelled at me many times. Yeah, have I? Don't yeah. touch, don't touch yeah, don't that. Don't touch that. Because your fingers have grease and everything that sure. can get on the, the piece. So, oh, here we go, watch this. So you can see. You can see that clean that off yeah. right there. That that shows up real yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna go over this. So that's taking off the fingerprints. Like, okay, there's a blemish right there. Mm -hmm. You get that nice and mm -hmm. shined up. So then, how hot is this right now, do you think? I'd say it's probably 500 degrees. Oh, really? I heated it up a lot, wow. yeah. I usually don't heat things up that long, but yeah. I know people like the big torch, yeah. so. <laughs> so picture, picture the texture of this <laughs> oh, yeah. being in here. So this is gonna look like this, okay? Yeah, so. yeah. And then, now I'm not gonna be able to, to, under these conditions, make this quite as fancy as I, sure. as I would, but, but give us an let's idea. try something, yeah. Get this little torch out now. Hey guys, Karen Slavy says, in the future, I want a life-size Granny Smith apple with a leaf and ladybugs, of course. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, life-size. Okay, well, she's making that she, request That's already. good. Well, let's talk prices if yeah. she wants to commission yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's here we got the airbrush with the and ferric that's, nitrate. That's okay, yeah, liquefied so. iron with nitric acid. There we what go, look could, at that. What could possibly so go straight, wrong? straight away. Yeah. There's that color going on there. So that's gonna be your base color. Yep. Okay, I would do this part backwards, but I don't think I can. So I'm gonna work over here and then you'll have to be surprised okay. at what you see. Okay. Um, wait, do I have some? Here, pour me some water, Ken. Where would you like it? Right here. Right in there. Okay, that's good. So when I first started doing patinas, I would need my chemicals all perfectly mixed and I, I had like a half strength and a quarter strength. Like a and, painter's palette. Yeah, and I would just had to have everything perfect, the perfect brushes. Yeah. And now, 20 years later, I, I just grab brushes and the way that I, like here I have the chemical in here and if I want it to be not as strong, I just dip it in okay. water, yeah. just the right amount. So look at that brush. How <laughs> many patinas has that thing done? It started uh, out here, right? Probably a few. Yeah, this one's yeah. looking pretty good. It's broke in. Yeah. 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 We got Sylvia Herbert uh, weighing in here. Sylvia. Hey, sis. And great to see you. Is the owl a snow owl? It's a spotted owl. A Mexican, a Mexican spotted owl. Yeah. Yeah. And then so. uh, Stephanie's wondering, uh, oh, she's saying the ladybugs are a symbol of delight, happiness, and taking action on your dreams. Uh, Eric, will you share a dream of yours you'd like to make happen? Oh, good question. <laughs> Very personal. Oh my Stephanie, God. that's wonderful. Wait, did you guys plant a professional? <laughs> <laughs> if not, she should be. Oh, th th thanks, Stephanie. Um, she told... Actually, a to dream? be honest, she did tell me she was going to try to put me under pressure. Oh, right good. Well, good. that's a good one then. A uh, dream? Let's see. Uh, what's a dream? My dream is that that owl sells, <laughs> sells out by the end of this demonstration. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and it just no, may. how about this? How about a song, a song that I wrote being recorded and, and like on the radio? I mean, songs don't really go on the radio anymore, but maybe people listen to it on Apple Music or... Spotify. So I told you it was multi talented. Yeah. yeah. Also, guys, Josephine Toby, good morning. Joe. Uh, Ruth Gordon, good morning from Pensacola. Thank you for joining us. Jojo, tell Josh hello. We can't wait to see you guys too. Okay, I'm making some stuff happen here. Okay. Okay, so, well, oh, yeah. normally that I wouldn't allow that dripping to happen, but 
If you look up here, you can see I'm getting some, oh, see this thing doesn't, there you go. Got to get the tools to cooperate. Okay, so you can see there's kind of some veining there that you yeah. can get. Yeah. And that's what the ferric nitrate. So that's going to be, that's going to represent the belly well, area? Well, that, that could, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's hard to make this exactly like what we would do, but we'll just, let's grab this. This chemical's cool. Watch this. So I'm going to use this chemical called cobalt nitrate. Hold tight. Let me see here. If I can get it to work. Josh says hi as well, gentlemen. Oh, hi, Josh. We miss you guys. So this is kind of a darker, almost a burgundy. The, the cobalt nitrate kind of makes a black color. Yeah. If I can get it to work. Is it not hot enough, maybe? No, it's hot enough. OK. Like I said, this. There's kind of, in a sense, the patina is sort of a, it's kind of a simplistic idea, but it's actually really complex when it comes down to making all these things happen. Well, speaking from experience, I've tried, and it's the most humbling thing I've ever done in my life. Because you're painting both with heat and with chemical, which makes it really difficult. Yeah. So I'm kind of making... Um, also makes everyone unique. Every, every patina is different. Yeah. Okay, so there you can yeah. see the cobalt nitrate makes a black veining like that. Yes. So, so again, is that how we, you achieved the veining in the quail piece? This is actually a chemical silver nitrate. Okay. Which is basically actually silver on there. Liquefied silver with nitric acid. For, yeah, basically. So when you look at that and you shine it up, it's like it's yeah. silver plated. And then the, the black that's left is from where I initially put a chemical called M20 on there. Which darkens it, yeah. That darkens it, and then um, that shows up from behind the okay. silver nitrate. Okay. And gentlemen, we got some interesting comments coming in. Uh, Bruce, you know, some of the folks will comment back and forth amongst each oh, other good. as well. Oh, good. Which is interesting. Uh, Bruce is talking with uh, Josie and says that they purchased two of Josh's siestas. All right. Uh, one for our home and one for our son and his family who calls it their Bunny Hill, home Bunny Hill. Oh, good. <laughs> that is great. They're the last in the edition, too. Thank you again. That is wonderful. Let's try. <laughs> I always tell people, I'm, I'm actually, the reason I never use what I do in demonstrations is, mm -hmm. is I'm terrible at giving examples of things. It's like until I'm actually doing the piece, it's oh. hard to get in the zone yeah, yeah. and make something look the way it's actually going to look. So is this what they call a tortoise shell when you get these ringlets? Sure, that could be okay. a that could be I've a heard name. that description. I mean, I call it veining, and you yeah. know, it's a stone-like effect that you can get. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get this to work decently. Okay, so there's so you can see all the veins that I'm getting on there. Yeah, and so, so this, those variations will be. That'll be kind of the texture of this piece, right? Yeah, so that'll give it, that'll give it a textural quality. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so that's, that's probably, and I probably wouldn't use this chemical, um, uh, cupric nitrate for the, because cupric nitrate makes a blue or green color. And that's liquefied copper. Yeah, pretty much. So could we, with Stephanie wanting a green one? Yeah. Can you show I'll, a little bit what the green yeah, one looks like? Yeah, I'll give an I'll give an example of that. Okay. So and you and you can do the a veining with that too. It actually pops out a little more. Oh, that's beautiful. You getting that on there? Yeah. So in this, we actually can make this ourselves too by putting copper in a jar and pouring the nitric acid on it. And then the minor explosion, as you yeah. described. Yeah. The reason I don't make this myself though is the is when you buy this from the chemical company, it works the same as your homemade. Okay. So you, Whereas the ferric nitrate, when I make the homemade, it works it's differently. It's stronger and yeah. gives you the effect. Yeah. So, but yeah, this is exactly what I would use to make a green pair. So you can see that. There you just, go. And now, and right up there, that's a good example of what I would do too, is you can see the bronze actually showing through. Yeah. See that golden is the, the glow of the bronze coming through. Well, I, that is beautiful. I can't yeah. wait to see. And that's something that I like to Stephanie's do. Stephanie's green. Stephanie's green pair. Wow, yeah. she's, if you keep talking like that, she's gonna hold me to this. Oh, we're holding her to it. You, 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna see this in your Let's studio. See what, you gotta understand, Stephanie Revenant, she's a great artist she in is. her own right. Yeah, absolutely. And so she's gonna want a discount, and she's gonna <laughs> want a trade, and. <laughs> well, she have to buy your pants, that's yeah. all. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stephanie, I do I was, love your work, by the way. I was gonna way. make it's a joke fantastic. about her trying to get my pants, but. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right, hi, Stephanie. <laughs> She, she actually she texted me a picture this morning and she where she's watching this in Montana oh. it's a blizzard is it really yeah. so another reason are. to come to Sedona yeah exactly right? yeah so I'm thinking here we are in short okay. sleeves I'm gonna actually I'm gonna lacquer this what I just did I'll have to remove this later okay but I can do that but I'm gonna lacquer it just to show what happens when the bronze shows through oh look at that yeah so look at that wow. golden bronze showing through with the veining yeah. of the, the green. Yeah. So if I did one, I could make it fade from more green and have a little yellow like pears actually do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's another example of, as a sculptor, your patina, is this a collaboration? Because your patina is part of, part of the piece, the texture, how um, we as artists want the highlights to show and lead your eye to certain areas in the, in the bronze. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a perfect example to go from a smooth surface like this. And you know what this is? That texture. You know what this is really proving to me is really how bad at examples I am. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, look, at, I, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry, folks, but it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you should be sorry because that's, that's not true. We take it for granted, but it's absolutely uh, the truth that we really rely on Eric to make a piece just come to life. And you saw it with Kim Corey's rapid transit piece, how you and she collaborated on making that patina what it was. It was mm -hmm. her vision, but you pulled it off. And you know, I think it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's fun working on Kim's pieces. Yeah, they offer yeah. a lot of a opportunity. Super detail. Yeah, but I love putting, she likes them to look realistic and lifelike, but if you look at all the patinas we do, the bronze is glowing through, yeah, yeah. so they kind of have a magical quality. Yeah. That's the same kind of thing that I would try to do on the pear or, yeah. um, or the what, owl. I'll, what I'll do on the owl. Mm -hmm. um, actually, so, Ken Stephanie says, thank you for the kind words and for making me blush. <laughs> oh, well, it's the truth, Stephanie. I admire your work. And Sylvia and Liam. Liam says you guys are very entertaining. <laughs> Here, Ken, why don't you walk this over to the sun and let him get, see if oh, he yes, can get a shot. Oh, yes, if we can, Lee. Okay. So. You can, that'll, yeah, there, there you go. You can see how it, oh, right there. Yeah. So look how that shows. And, and again, to, to, the example is to have gone from that smooth surface to here is a perfect example of how that, they come to life in bronze. There's that yeah. bronze glowing through yeah. on that. That's stunning. I cannot wait to see the owl and what you come up with on the patina. So Eric Slocum yeah. saying, this is great, exclamation points. Oh, <laughs> so, very cool. We love it. So let's not get off the owl yet. <laughs> All right, so the week you had to work on this, mm -hmm. you put the shoulder on, you're thinking about some texture, but you also have, well, we don't know exactly what it's gonna cost or do we, should we post it on the website? Um, what we I, know today? Monica was coming up with a price, I think, that'll be um, just a special for precast. You always do yeah. a precast yeah. offering for this weekend. So, yeah, that'd be great. So, if you call the gallery, we don't even have, excuse me, we don't even have a photo of this on the website yet. So, so you, can, you can call and we'll give you all the information on this. And, and so, th this has a lot of work left to do to smooth it out just okay. right, but that's the basic. Um, well, the and this started off the same way, totally yeah. smooth, and look at how yeah. the difference is between the two. So, yeah. can I have number one? <laughs> yeah. If somebody else doesn't want it, one of your fans, <laughs> I would like to have number one. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think I can sell number one for the precast uh, uh, price. Oh, there, you're going to get me for the pants. <laughs> you want my pants now. I mean, that's what it is. No, I want your wallet. Oh, okay. Well, that I have. <laughs> I want. I need some of that Ken Rowe money. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Monopoly money is what it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me show a couple of different... Okay, now, wait a minute. The what? sign says off, what, oh. five ninety five. Oh, five, okay. wow, this is, we're like real salespeople, five ninety five. dollars Okay. That's okay, so now we know. Wait, I'm going to, I don't, that sounds too much like a car salesman, so we're going to go, I'm going to lower it. Okay. 
<laughs> well, it's your... Yeah. How about 550, Monica? 550, okay. Okay, 550. Right. Now yeah. you know. Okay, yeah. so what are we going to do now? Um, I'm just going to show some more... Um, I'll show some more stuff. Good. Examples. Love oh, it. I already got the torch started. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> So another way that we do patinas is with um, a squirt bottle. bottles. Okay. So actually, this is kind of interesting. The cupric nitrate. Look what happens when a, when fire hits the cupric nitrate. <laughs> That's my chemistry trick for the day. Turn the flame <laughs> green. Wait, now at, wait, 35? Oh, oh, we're going an hour? Are we? <laughs> nice. Okay, okay we good. can do it. Well, we, our readies must be going up. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, okay, I got this heated up. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so there was the trick, and then let's see. Yeah, look at this. Little squirt bottle, ooh, this is cool. Oh, that's a great effect. See how oh, good Stephanie, I am here's your here's your pair coming up. Yeah, here's your green pair. Just this quick. Wow, that is. Okay, so I got some funky stuff happening there, but you can see how that squirt bottle. That's actually not how I would do it because I would want more variation, variation and everything. Okay. But Eric, if I Eric, wanted, how many? Uh, this is from Sylvia. How many in the addition on the owl? 44. 44, okay. The reason 44. for 44, is that number it's significant? Just There's this old basketball player, Hank Gathers. Okay. Remember that? Loyola Marymount? Yeah. Well, he, he died playing basketball when I was a kid. Oh. So yeah, so that number 44. That's, that's good. So yeah, I made myself reason. number 44 after that happened. That was my basketball number. Oh, so. good for you. Yeah. That's so a good like reason. It. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, that shows you we can squirt bottle. Um, the chemical on there. Now watch this. The cupric nitrate kind of has a little bit of a blue tint, a turquoise tint. Now watch what I can do if I spray ferric nitrate on it. Look at that. It goes more brown? Yeah, it's gold. More green. Green. I yeah, see. you can yeah. make it more greenish colored. Yeah. And then if I keep, I could put a fade. Oh, that's beautiful. So see, I could do a fade from like red yeah. all the way up to the green color. That's amazing. So that's... That's an example of the kinds that of things you can do else. on the patina. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. And then did I show? Oh, I think I showed the liver of sulfur before. Hey, Eric, Josie says you just need a bigger torch. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's not the size of the torch that counts. Wait, say, oh, hi, Josh and Jojo. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Um, I'm really bad at reading my cues from Monica. Monica's over here writing stuff on paper for me. I'm, I'm not that professional. You need yeah. her glasses, <laughs> but they sold. Monica, so. can you hold that up? Here, bring that a little closer. My eyesight is, oh, okay, yeah. I got that right. <laughs> okay. Josh and Jojo. <laughs> All right, let's bring back the, um, the one that I lacquered. Okay, this okay. is hot. Oh, this is another thing about doing patinas all these years. Most people holding they're, this after I've been torching it, they're, they would be crying right now. But I can hold things that are really, oh really hot. That's why around the campfire you're good for cooking fish. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephanie says, see, make a wish when you see a ladybug and it comes true. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Lenore Walters saying hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's my aunt. Hi, Aunt Lenore. Okay, so, okay. oh yeah, this now is ready. It's, it's ready for the next step. Okay. Let's put, um, let's see, what's, what is the next step? The next step would be to put some of the black spots on the ladybug. Okay. So, now I have to get an even sharper. For this, I'm going to use a brand new brush um, because I need these spots to be pretty precise. And you probably don't want to heat it up at this point, or do you? Um, it would, it doesn't hurt to have a little heat, so I'll get the little torch out and do that. Let me get the black ready. Okay. That's ready to go. And there's a torch right by your spray <sighs> bottle. Yeah. Okay. Boy, Monica, these make things 
easy to see up close, but the distance is is a little rough. <laughs> People love to see behind the scenes. Yeah, we're gonna Ooh. do that someday. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. So that's... I can see the moisture. It, it gets shiny. It got shiny. Is that because the moisture is being pulled? Yeah, out Yeah, that pulled that pulled the water out of the pores. Yeah. Um, and so now, yeah, now this will stick on there okay. a little better. So I'm gonna take. Take this, okay. We'll start right here is where, so this is a nine spotted ladybug. Oh, they actually have specific numbers. Yeah, these, these kind have nine every time. So they always have one spot right here. And then you put four more on each side. So there's, I'm trying to. It's hard to do. The, trying to get this on camera. Yeah. Okay, I might have to redo this part back in my shop because it's a little hard to be precise. I okay, I'm going to turn it around. Let's see here. Let's do one there. Well, it's possible this could work out. Let's see. Here. In there. Oh, Mo I see Monica making me another message. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Monica's getting embarrassed. Whoa. God dang. See, this is why, so not being able to see at a distance my whole life and having to wear glasses, the one advantage is now when I'm wearing my glasses for distance, I can just push them down a little to see up close. Okay. That's the one benefit I get. That's a lot easier than having to put the glasses on to see up close. I'm not used to this. Okay, here we go. Wait, okay there. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. That Check nine? that out. Yeah, that's nine. Lisa Aronson says so delicate exclamation points. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done a lot of these, so I know right where to put the spot. So Eric, the patina on We're the... We're not gonna work on the little male. See him yeah. over here today? We'll so would him. you darken the stem to give contrast with that Well, that's what I... It's already started that way. Yeah, yeah. The stem, I'll do a little more brown and stuff on the stem. Okay. But yeah. Um, Okay, let me, actually, if I look closer at these, maybe, maybe this is usable. Okay. Put it a little more around. All right, that's pretty good. You know I'd what we'll say. do, Ken? What? Let's do the, ne now I have to lacquer it again to protect that. Okay. That round, and then, and then we can do one more step after this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we'll let okay. that dry a little bit. All right. So even in here, I want to point this out. Even the, the, the darkness you have where the stem is coming out of the top of the pear mm -hmm. is kind of like a real pear. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. that's how it would be. Yeah. yeah. Actually, what's interesting about this, funny enough, I made a mistake when I made this pear and for the molding process. So to make a bronze, should we talk a little bit about what goes sure. into it? Yeah. You start with your clay original, of course. Oh, wait. We're at 40 minutes but we're going to an hour, or we're well, done. I think we should just wrap, yeah. Cut we're it. Getting, well, no, we're getting close. We got, we got <laughs> Okay, five minutes, minutes five minutes. Yeah. So you, have, you start with your clay original, and then on something simple forms like this, this you could divide it in half real easily. You have to divide something in half to so make a mold. Molds are two halves. Yeah, you make a rubber mold. Well, when it came to making the mold for this piece, um, I cut the stem off to make a separate mm -hmm. mold, and the pear was its own mold. Okay. Now what I should have done was cut the top of the pear off right here and oh. made that its own mold. Yeah. Instead I took the stem out and now- You so have to it, weld that in. Yeah, every bronze you see, I actually re-sculpt the entire top of this pear. So I take fine tools in the bronze and, and re-sculpt. So each one is kind of custom like that yeah. and I have to hand do what I originally sculpted yeah. in the bronze. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I guess each one, that kind of makes each one a, a, yeah. a custom original. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, so, so there's, oh, got I'll do treatment. one more, I'll do okay. one more thing to the ladybug before we go. Okay. Because they have, you know, those little spots of white they have. They is do? what kind of makes it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you do. No. Kim Corey. 
Explain I, to Ken you have to tell me. about the little spots of white on the ladybug. I failed entomology. <laughs> I failed chemistry, and look at me. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Um, wait, where's my glasses, Monica? I don't need them. <laughs> I do need them. I can't see. They were yours. They're sold. Okay, here we go. So they have a little bit of white right there, right there, right by their eyes. I don't know. Stephanie's this... asking, gentlemen, is there a difference between the male and female ladybug besides size? Do they have the same number of spots? It's an interesting question. Yeah, good question. Um, these nine spotted ones do, unless somebody Googles that and proves me wrong real quick. But the, the male has the same number of spots as the female. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because Josie then is asking, how can you tell it's a male ladybug? So it's By the oh, I mean, you can't. The only way you can tell on this is that I made the male smaller, because that's because the males are generally smaller. But okay. in real life, I think you'd be hard pressed to look at a pile of ladybugs and tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. So see there, I put oh, on the head. Yeah. Yeah. So that with the white being by their eyes. Okay. When I put the white on there, it actually kind of brings it to life because yeah. it kind of Absolutely. gives you the appearance that yeah. it has eyes and yeah. and makes it more um, lively. Yeah, that so is beautiful. What I'll do is I'll uh, maybe I'll take a little more video of me finishing this totally at, at the shop and sure. you can post it later. Yeah. And then yeah, this one will be available. Oh, good. It's so. available. <laughs> so is the owl. I cannot wait to see this in bronze. About six months, you think? We'll have um, it in bronze. Oh, sooner. Less. Yeah. Maybe maybe those that order by Christmas? Oh, definitely. Okay, good. Definitely by Christmas, yeah. Well, good. Well, thank you. Now, all of you know why we brag about our artists so much. Josh and Jojo, you're included. Thank you, buddy. Yep, thanks again. It's an honor to have you. So next week, go what we're going to do now. is we're going to follow up on the mountain lion over here. And so, believe it or not, I'm going to be putting the finishing touches on this next week. We're going to do a brief overview of what has transpired to get it to this point. And then the week after, we're going to the mold maker to have this mold. And I also have something for the kids. So by next Saturday, I'm going to give the parents at home a project with their kids to do that I think will really be entertaining. So thank you again for joining us. We love you guys. We miss you. Can't wait to see you in Talakapaki.